When you create an online store website using WooCommerce, this is the default product page that you see. I'm sure you can agree with me that this doesn't look very exciting. But what if through designing, you come up with something that looks like that. Now that's even much, much better. This is what I'm going to show you in today's tutorial. I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to create this product page and also have this image here in the background. This would be very, very easy and straightforward. I want you to create amazing WooCommerce product pages using Divi. So let's dive in and let me show you how to create this. But before we get started, if you haven't purchased Divi yet, I have a link to that in the video description below. If you purchase it using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my Divi Jumpstart course. This is a course that will teach you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is to install WooCommerce. This is free. So this is what's going to enable us to sell our products or services online. All right, so I've already gone ahead and installed it, but let me just show you quickly how I managed to do it. So you wanna come over here to plugins and then click on add new. Next, you wanna search for WooCommerce. So here it is. And as you can see, it's active, but if you haven't installed it, you wanna click on install and then activate. All right, so the next step now is to create a product. So over here on um, WooCommerce, you can see it comes in with products, analytics, and so on. So you wanna come over here to products once um, WooCommerce has been installed. So, so far I've uh, added two, but let me show you how you can add your products. So all you have to do after clicking on products is to click on add new. Next, you wanna give your product description here. So let's say that's our product description. And then uh, the next step now is to add your product name. So I'm just gonna paste this as my product name. And then further down here, I'm gonna add my price. So let's say this is 167, it's just a random number. But over here now, if you have stock, you can actually add your stock over here, but I'm not gonna go uh, too much into detail on that. And then over here to the right, I've created a category called shoes, but you can also create a new category by clicking here on add new category. The next step now is to add our product image. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Now I have an image in here already. I'm gonna click on it and then click on set as product image. Right, so I'm also going to need a product description. So I'm just gonna copy this, come all the way down here to product short description. So that's why I'm gonna paste it like that. And pretty much I am good to go. This is all I need to uh, set up my product. So finally, come over here, click on publish. Great. So I'm pretty sure you wanna see what this looks like. So let's open this page. So I'm gonna click here on view product. So here it is. I'm sure you can agree with me that this doesn't look very exciting. So we really want to um, come in here and design our page and really show our creativity when it comes to web design because this, when you give it to a client, this just won't work. Okay, so what you wanna do now to customize this and make and make this look awesome is to use the Divi theme builder. So I'm gonna come over here to dashboard, come all the way down here to Divi and then click on theme builder. Now, once you install WooCommerce, what's gonna happen is uh, Divi is very smart to know that you have added WooCommerce and then it creates a template for you. So this is what we're gonna add now. So I'm gonna click on this plus button here and click on build new template. All right, so over here is where we need to go in and look for the template we need. So since we are working with products, uh, we are going to look at our products. So here it is, all products. So make sure you select that and then click on create template. So at the moment, it's given us our header, but it's okay. What we're interested in is building the custom body. So with that selected now, we're going to design this whole page so that when we add new products, they are going to look consistent throughout this design. So here's the way the work begins. I'm gonna click on this uh, plus button here and add a single column. So in this column, we're going to add a text module. So this is where we want to add our description text. So what I'm gonna do now is to click on this little icon here like that. And this is where now I can choose where uh, my um, title. So my post archive title, okay, this is what I'm looking for. I can select that and this is automatically going to choose my product name. So I'm gonna leave that as, uh, as it is for now and save. Next, I'm gonna come to this background because I'm interested in adding an image here in the background to make this look really, really nice. So with background selected, what we really need here is to add a really dark color here. I'm gonna add black. And then over here now on the image, I'm gonna add my background image. So I'm gonna click again on this little icon here 
And what I'm going to set here is my featured image. Next, I want to scroll all the way down here to my background image blend and then click on normal. So we want multiply. So you're going to notice that everything turns black. So the only thing that we need to do now is to come back to our uh, background color here, click anywhere in here and add a bit of transparency. And this is going to show just a hint of the product in the background. Okay, so now that we have this all sorted, the next step now is to go in and um, customize my text. <clears throat> I'm gonna go into design, text, and I'm gonna first of all make it all caps, uh, change the color. So, so far, um, you know, that gray doesn't work. So let's go in and uh, make it brighter because we want this to be easy to read on, um, on our page here. Next, we're gonna increase our text size. Oops, that's a bit too much. So I'm gonna go with maybe two point, okay, let's go with 2.8 uh, EM. All right, so now I've got that. We're gonna go to letter spacing. I'm just gonna add this to about, let's say four. Now all caps is fine. Um, I'm gonna leave this as it is. And finally, I'm going to center this. Excellent. So now I'm gonna go ahead and save. So, so far we've added a background image. This is going to be our product image. And then over here we have our product and uh, this is going to tell us what the name of the product is. And this is a template. So this will automatically or dynamically add that. All right, so now let's move on to the next um, section. I'm gonna click on regular. And this time we are going to uh, go with two columns. So in the first column here, we're going to add an image. So we're gonna go to, we're gonna type in woo and uh, scroll down here until I find my product. So here's Woo product images, I'm gonna select that. Okay, so that's great. I'm not gonna do much with this. Uh, that's pretty much fine as it is, I'm gonna save that. Over here to the right, I'm gonna start with my Woo title. So let me search for my module here. So all you need to do is just to type Woo and then everything else comes up. So let's look at our title. So I'm gonna scroll down here. In fact, let's, uh, okay, it's probably down here somewhere. There we go. I'm gonna select that. Now it's time to go in and customize this. So I'm gonna go in and let's first of all, change my font here to Poppins and here it is. So I'm gonna leave, um, I'm gonna leave it like that and save. Next, we're gonna go for the product description. So I'm gonna search for my text module here. In fact, you know what? Why don't we use all our Woo modules? Because Divi comes with, with these uh, Woo modules. All right, so I've got Woo there. Uh, we're gonna scroll down until I find product description. Here we go. Again, I'm gonna go in quickly and change uh, this text here to Poppins, like that, and increase the size. So let's start here with one EM. So for my description, maybe let's go with 1.1 or 1.2. Yeah, I think 1.2 works. And then for my line height, I'm gonna go with 1.8. All right, so this is shaping up now. Uh, let's save this for now. The next step now is to add our add to cart. So I'm gonna say add, there we go, woo add to cart, great. So now all I have to do is to go to this button here and customize my button so it looks like uh, exactly what I want. So I'm gonna change my button tick size. Now that's a bit too much, let's go with 1.2 uh, or, okay, you know what, let's go with 1.6. All right, so our button text color is going to be white now let's scroll down here and add our button background color. Let's set this to black. And then we're gonna scroll further down here. Border width, let's remove that. And for the border radius, let's get rid of that too. Now over here on the button font, we need to make sure we are consistent here. We're gonna use Poppins. Okay, so that's looking great. Now let's see what else we're going to need on our product here. So we have our add to cart. We also have our categories. Okay, perhaps we may add this um, breadcrumbs. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna come over here, click on this plus button. So let's search for breadcrumbs. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go in and customize it again. I'm gonna set this to, no, actually, you know what? Let's not use caps. All we need now is to change this to poppins, increase the size to one EM. Okay, that's looking great. So all I have to do now is to drag it to the top like that. Excellent, so now we have our breadcrumbs and we have our product name here. We have all our descriptions. I think that's looking great. But you know what? Mm, maybe, why don't we have the breadcrumbs over here so that we just keep things very clean. 
And uh, let's go in and center this. So we're going to scroll down here and center it. And also, you know, the text here doesn't look great. So let's change the text color. But you know what? For this, let's add a bit of uh, color here. Okay. So we're going to save now. So let's continue on. Uh, let's add another section here. I'm going to click on this uh, plus button here to add our regular section. So this time, what we're going to do is we're going to add a testimonial and also the uh, product uh, description and so on. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So on the left here, uh, we're going to go with uh, product tabs. So let's go ahead and select that. So this needs a bit of work. But before we do that, let's go ahead and save and add a color to this section so that we can distinguish between the two sections. So we're going to come over here to background and uh, let's add a very light gray like that and save. All right, so that's looking great. Now it's time to go in and make for the customizations. So we can decide here what we need to add, whether we should add uh, additional information or reviews and so on. So I'm fine with that. I'm gonna, now going to go in and make sure that my font here is looking great. So I'm going to add pop-ins. I'm going to add one EM here. I'm also going to add line height. In fact, you know what? Let's add 1.2 here. So it's slightly bigger. And 1.8 is fine. All right, so that's looking great. The next step now is to work on my description here, my text. So my tab font here needs to be pop-ins. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's increase the size. In fact, let's make it all caps. Yep, I like that. And uh, let's make it 1.2 EM. That's a bit too much. So let's bring this down and then we're going to add some letter spacing. All right, so that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and save. So I think the issue here is my columns. So I'm going to go in and add two thirds, no, three quarters and one quarter. And then over here on the right, we can add a testimonial. We're going to select that. So this needs customizations as well. So I'm going to go in and we're going to start here with the font. Change this to pop-ins. And over here, let's set this to 1 EM. All right, so pretty much throughout this whole thing, you know, we just need to go in and make sure that we are adding the, the right information in here. Because remember, this is a template, so we can't go in and... Um, add you know, the actual testimonial information here. All right, so the image there, we're not going to put it yet. So we're just going to come over now to the quotes and get rid of that. I don't really like this. I don't know why it's on by default. But anyway, so now this is looking great. Finally, my width here doesn't look great because I need this a bit wider. So let's go into design here, sizing. So let's set this to 80%. Okay, that's much better. I'm going to copy that and save. And I'm also going to do the same thing over here to the top. Click here, go to design, sizing, and set this to 80%. All right, so now we can go ahead and save. And this is looking really cool. Now over here on the top, we're only going to be able to see what this looks like once we save. So let's save, save our template here and uh, close out of this, save changes. Now let's go to our product. So we're going to come over here, click on all products. And let's just take a look at a random view of this one here. Now look at that. So we have our trainers here in the background. And when I scroll down, look, now we have a totally different page. We have our description here and our testimonial. So this is definitely much better, but I can see that my um, image here doesn't look great. We need to go in and customize this further. So let's go ahead and do that. So at any point, if you want to make changes to your template, you want to go to your theme builder. All right, so let's go to our custom body. So when I take a look here, it's way too dark. So that's what we need to fix. So let's go into our section settings, background. And all we need is to add a bit more transparency to this. So I'm going to go with uh, 0.8. And while I'm here, I also need to add a bit more padding. So I'm going to come over here to... Um, spacing so we have eight percent let's set this to ten percent all right so i'm going to save this now let's take a look and see what this looks like all right so that looks much better we can tell that there is a shoe here in the background and then i scroll down here you can see now that we have our products and we also have our information about the product here on the bottom so there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again in the next tutorial. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.